How do you do supersonic research with your 3D printer? With this. This is the fastest hunk of plastic in town. JP here. Have you ever needed a supersonic airplane for your test and you just don't have one? I hear you. I've been there. An SR-71 spy plane would be a great research vehicle for the Airship to Orbit program. But those party poopers at the Air Force won't loan me theirs, so I had to build my own. Because of budget, mine ended up just a little smaller. This is a data dart. It's a miniature high-speed research aircraft that we make with a 3D printer. It actually does everything that I need and doesn't use all the jet fuel. This particular one is version 10. This is what it looks like on the inside. We can get a surprising amount of instrumentation in there. To get it up to speed, we use our Mach 4 wind tunnel. The type of wind tunnel we use is called a shock tube. It uses vacuum, high pressure, and burst diaphragms to create a Mach 4 shock wave that lasts less than a second. I want to take a moment and thank our supporters over on Patreon. You keep the research going. If you want to see what that's all about, there's a link in the description. To keep the videos going, we need subscribers. So do us a solid and hit that subscribe button. We fly the dart in two modes, captive and free flight. In captive mode, the dart is held in the test section of the shock tube and a Mach 4 wave is passed over it. In free flight mode, we put a burst diaphragm on the end of the shock tube and then blast the dart across the room and catch it in a big box of bubble wrap. We record the flight with a high-speed camera with a black felt background. This was flight number eight. A Mach 4 shockwave or a 1200 G acceleration is hard on a little printed plane. And sometimes it doesn't quite make it. Even in pieces, the dart moves pretty fast. We usually get four or five flights out of an airframe, only one if we miss the box of bubble wrap. What about heating, you ask? Many high-speed aircraft are made from titanium or other exotic metals to keep them from melting. We put a little aluminum tape on the nose of ours, and that takes care of it. The environment that we'll eventually be operating in is near vacuum, so heating isn't quite as much of an issue. And remember, the dart is only flying for one hundredth of a second. If you're trying to do low-cost, high-speed research, and you've printed your aircraft and your hypersonic wind tunnel is made of plumbing, the next thing that's going to kill the budget is sensors. You need some high-speed instrumentation to know what's going on. The shockwave itself is pretty tricky to measure. It's invisible, so you can't use optical sensors, and pressure sensors that react fast enough are pretty pricey. We started with audio sensors. They detect the sound as the wave passes over them. They worked, but with the burst diaphragm going off and the physical shock traveling down the tube, the data was pretty noisy. We ended up making the sensors out of paper. We take a strip of paper, draw a line of conductive ink down it, and then we bake it until it's very brittle. We take two of the strips and mount them two meters apart across the shock tube and then run current through them. We measure when the shock wave breaks the strips with a high-speed data logger and presto, clean, accurate velocity data. We're upgrading our shock tube to get us into the Mach 6 range and we'll keep changing and editing the data dart until it reaches higher and higher velocities. We're starting to look at a third method of free flight for the data dart. Rocket powered free flight from balloon. This would create a tiny hypersonic space launch service for very, very small payloads. Our data dart research is getting us the information we need for the airship to orbit program on active drag control systems. But more importantly, it's getting us the experience in the high speed flight regime, even without an SR-71. The data dart program is just one more part of the research for the airship to orbit program. There's a lot of questions to be answered to make this work. 
The data dart is just one of our question answering machines. Till next time, thank you for watching my video.